And I have dwelled into these things before, so I have done a little bit of reading. Uh, I'm not an expert, but that's my own personal belief. Yeah. I mean, there may be God, and I think there is. That's through my own scientific understanding. But what that is, how we describe it, how we mentally conceive it, is beyond our abilities. We're too small to be able to understand these things. So just like trying to understand the universe, it's, it's too big. We talk, break it down to parts and we get to understand a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But to say that God has created us from the beginning, like a biblical or the Quranic or the Torah version, or even Zoroastrianism, which is the Iranian, or Hindu sense, I mean, I think these are just ideas. They're good stories and it gets people together because they believe in something, but then, to me, it's not real. Yeah. For sure, take on it. Okay. Why did God create you? I don't know. No one knows that. Did the God who created you tell you? Sorry? Because you believe in a God. Yeah. Whichever way Some you conceive, which, yeah, whichever yeah. way you conceive that yeah. uh, being, did that God tell you why he created you? No. God doesn't talk to me. Okay. So God created all of this. And yet he doesn't tell you why he created it. It's a possibility he has, he may not, you know, but I'm just open-minded. Um, hmm? It's a possibility he may have created all this, but I'm just open-minded, so I'm not... So this, yeah. I know you're all around here. you, this yeah. all around you, yeah. it's possible that it wasn't created by anyone? It's possible, yes, yeah. Okay, so if that's the case, it was always there? Possibly. Or was it always not there? We don't know the answers, do we? What, what are your critical thoughts about it? Critical thoughts, you exist, you live. No, the, about the cosmos, enjoy. about the cosmos, the reality well, of the cosmos. What is the reality? We, we try to make sense of who we are in this part of the cosmos, it's a massive cosmos. But in sense of knowing why we created, again, it's an idea, isn't it? We're trying to satisfy our inner need, our fears, our insecurities, of the fact that we exist, we're conscious, and then one day this consciousness might become to an end and then what then? So based on that people come up with ideas to try to avoid that. So let's start with whether this has this this universe or this reality has always been there or not. We don't know that, do we? Okay. Yeah. How can we know? Do we have well, the we tools? Can't. We can do mathematical models. Okay. We can do physics. Yes, we can make theories, postulate theories, but they are theories at the end of the day. Okay. Just, yeah. So, if I tell I mean, you that sorry, I, sh I should correct myself. Some theories are more kind of a profound in sense of they do have a, some kind of a, um, kind of a, they proved that uh, they are built on good foundations. There are mathematical bases behind it, but still, yeah, it's a theory. Okay. Can you conceive of a time, in inverted quotes, of course, in the past, where it's possible there was absolute nothingness? And non-existence. Possibly, yes. Yeah. Okay. All things are possible. Fine. Yeah. If such was a scenario, a possibility, mm -hmm. can anything arise from it? Can something come out of nothingness? Can something arise from non-existence? Again, this is a a debate about physics, and I don't know much about physics. I'm not the expert. Use the tools but, that you have. Sorry. Use the tools that you have, and you possess. The tools we have is that I'm alive. I exist. Yeah. Right? I'm conscious, I know what my world is around me, but that doesn't necessarily give me all the answers. It can't give anybody all the answers. So you have to use the appropriate tools then? Because yeah. if we know what we mean by non-existence, mm. nothingness, is simply the absence of everything. Absence of all existence, that's what we mean. Yeah. Absence of energy and time and yeah. space and quanta and quantum fluctuations. Absence of a thing, that's no thing, that's nothing. So if there was conceptually something like nothingness, yeah. this nothingness doesn't have any qualities or any properties that it can actually bring about the existence of anything. Are we talking about Big Bang Theory here? No, of course not. Right, okay. We're talking okay. about something and nothing. Right. So, we know what something is, yeah. in some way, shape or form. This, this conversation can go on infinitely? No. Yep. It's not. It can. 
We can't. We can wrap it up in a few minutes. You can so, wrap it up through the Islamic point of view. I, I I'm see. not giving an Islamic point no, of view. No, I'm giving you a, yeah. a point of view of critical thinking. Let's wrap it up then. Right. Critical yeah. thinking. Mm. We know what something is. Mm. Matter, space, time. Yeah. Right. This is something. The nothingness is absence of all of that. If you have a state where it's absolute nothingness, which is non-existence, no physics, no theory in science can help you to say you can get something out of it. Well, then... It will, nothing will result from nothingness. If we assume what you're saying is to be true. No, no, I'm, not, I'm giving yeah. you a scenario. Yeah, yeah. Suppose we had yeah. a model of our universe in which <laughs> there was absolutely nothing to begin with, yeah. right? At one point. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is in, inverted quotes. Right. Come on, you okay, brother? Suppose at one point yeah. Yeah. there was absolutely nothingness, which is non existence. Mm. The question now is for us to understand and explain whether it is possible or probable that existence can come from non existence. Sorry, what's your name again? Mansoor. Mansoor. Sorry, Mansoor, but we can't have this conversation because this will go on forever. Why? Because you can prove one thing or the other. We can create mathematical models to create, you know, prove something or not. Um, Are you a mathematician? I'm not, no. Right. Um, so use but, whatever you've got yeah, and tell me, is it possible to get existence arising from non existence? Well, it depends on which viewpoint you're looking at. Yeah? Sorry? It depends on the viewpoint you're looking at. What so viewpoint? What, what is your... Use any viewpoint. Okay. We're, we're supposed to be talking about religion here, not about physics. Reality. I'm yeah. not going to okay. confine yeah. my answers to the reality from only one particular angle of biology. No, yeah. I'm not going to limit myself because okay. when we want so, to learn about something, yeah. do you agree, Wade, yeah. that we have to li have all avenues of knowledge open, epistemology right. in which Absolutely. every yeah, avenue yeah. of acquiring knowledge. Yeah. Use that and tell yeah. me, is it conceivable right. that we can get existence arising from non-existence? My views aside, I want to hear about your views. No, no, I'm going to yeah. establish that by... I'm, I'm not here to debate. I'm it's not debating. It's not debating. Well, it seems that way. Remember, yeah. remember you said about you believe in something and you, believe, mm. you said the universe may not have been created. So I'm yeah. just trying to understand well, your so foundation. Let's wrap this up. I want to know your thoughts about Islam and why you... It will follow it. only when we know this foundational principles. You're forcing me to answer a question. It's not which forcing. Cannot, it's not forcing. You, you know, yeah. look. If, if I said any sane individual... If any I say I don't know, you need to move on. Yeah. No, it's not why you don't know, you do know. I don't. I you don't. do? No, you do? do. Okay. So, so now, you know me better than I know myself. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay, let's understand something. Mm. To get something, yeah. okay, to begin something, to create something, to originate something, yeah. you need, that we know from our model of physics mm -hmm. and science, you need energy. Yeah. You need something. Well, you need well, something to make something because we're only transforming the energy from one to the other, one form to the other. Whether energy converts into a mass, mass converts into energy, and so on. Well, you're right. You have to have the agency and the material, whatever that is, space, time, quanta. You need that. You cannot have non existence and use that to make existence. It simply doesn't follow. Okay. I am going to make this assertion right. based on our reality, right. the tools that we have. The tools that you, you have. You, yep. You, yep. You, you do know, mm. in my humble understanding, yep. that is the case. Okay. But you don't want to commit to that because that will then force you to a particular understanding of reality, which you are not comfortable with, no, perhaps. that's not true. That's okay. Not true. So now tell me then, yeah. is it possible to conceive existence arising from non-existence? Why are you asking me that question? I'm not because the expert here. But the answer is quite simple. What is your answer? Yeah, the question, what, my answer to my question what is, is your simple. answer? It's not my answer, it's what's no, your no, answer, no. I'm interested in. The question I ask. I think you're reversing the tables here, um, and you're trying to put me in a situation where I'm forced to give you an answer. So it's not about forced to. It's not about forced to. It's being, it's being critically, critically honest no, about it. All I want to know, Mansur, forget that all side, physics why side. You, why are you uncomfortable in answering this question? I'm not, because question? I'm not an expert in physics. It's so not an expert. I'm it, not an expert in physics well, either. Let's, let's park it. Let's move on. No. Why are you limited to physics only? Do you understand common sense? No. <laughs> Now you're insulting me. No, no. No, now you're insulting me. I apologize. It's not insulting. Yeah. You have common sense. You have intuition. I, you have critical thinking. 
The apparatus is already there. Look, I'm not uh, Einstein or you don't have to be. Stephen Hawking or anything. You don't have to be. You know, outside the universe. Brother, yeah. it's okay, it's yeah. okay. Look, so you don't have to all be. I'm asking you, Monsieur, with respect, is why are you Muslim and why do you believe okay. in... You want to shift the conversation because not you are shift uncomfortable. It. That's the, no, I'm because, not uncomfortable. Again, because you're, you're saying, using words as though... So yeah. why don't we let talk about it? Because let's let's uh, talk about whether existence can come out of non-existence. Because, you know what, all the atheists, because with all due respect... I'm not wait, atheists. No, no, all yeah. the atheists... With due respect, no, when we, we ask this question, you're asking debate which you and I both clearly don't have answers to. You do have answers to. We don't. That's why you assume we have okay. answers. Why is it difficult to answer that question? Because we don't know the knowledge. We don't have the knowledge. We're not experts. So you so need to have me, knowledge let about. Simple, let me ask you a simple question. You've got a problem with your heart, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now I can stand here and talk to you the problems about your heart, but I'm not the expert. Okay. But I might be able to postulate some theories, make you fanciful, come around with these clever words. Have a little understanding of how the cardiovascular system works and say you've got a problem with your heart, this is the reason. But I'm not the expert. I can debate here all day with another guy who's similar thinking like me and we can both debate or have a conversation. Okay. But we are not cardiovascular surgeons or specialists. That's not our theory. Okay. So my We are doing the same thing here. So we are not physicists. Are we talking about specialist field? Physics is specialist skills. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. My question yeah. is it linked with a specialist field? Well, physics. No. Can non-existence give rise to existence? You don't need to be an expert in physics or in can. biology. It probably can. How you do you don't need to be can't? an expert. Yeah, it probably can. Because probably we've can't. already yeah. conceptualized what nothingness is, yeah. existence is, and yeah. what non-existence is. Right. You don't need to have a PhD to somehow answer that question. Even PhDs don't. They just do a small. But I'm just telling you, you don't need to have PhD because the answer, the answer yeah. is within the question itself. Non-existence doesn't have anything to give rise to existence, so it cannot. Monsoon, with due respect, we cannot answer that question. Okay, okay let's I, move I, think, on. I, I think we cannot move on. because we can't. Uh, no, no, I don't want to move on. Okay. Because if you feel that this, this question is difficult to answer... You want me to say an answer? I know, I'll tell you what No, no, you I don't want to say anything this is what forced. you want to hear from me. Yes. No, 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 no. I, want you to, I want you to critically answer that question. Let me, let me finish. I think your angle is for you to make me answer a question that is not the, my question. The way you feel. No, no. You I'm not forcing to you to answer. That out of nothingness could something come out of it. And if I said no, then or something to that effect, then you would have asserted the fact that the religion is true or of God course is not. true. Of course not. Then what of is course it? not. Of then course not. Yeah, let's move we, on. Let's no, we are yeah. establishing the foundational yeah. principles. All right, let me assume. First of all. Let me assume. I'll go with your answer just for. We can't assume anything. We have to agree well, critically. Everything is assumed. No. Yeah. <laughs> The whole world is based on assumptions. Do I assume you, you, your existence or do I know you exist? No, not, I'm not saying that. I'm talking about physics and I'm talking about I'm not talking about physics. Right? Right? I'm talking uh, wait, about religion. Wait, religion sorry. is also assumption, right? Wait, I am not okay. only talking about physics. Whatever you're talking about, I know you're talking about the limit whole to physics? feed. You can't cover Why the limit whole to feed. Because we, we, Why limit to physics? Why limit to physics? I'm not limited to physics. Right, yeah. so let's not talk about physics, mm. chemistry or biology or botany, mm. whatever. The question yeah. is not difficult. Well, look, look at my statements within the question. Can non-existence give rise to existence? What is difficult in the question? It's not about the language, but can and give rise. And conceptually, existence and non-existence, they're not difficult to comprehend, is it? Or are you saying non-existence, I am very difficult, finding it difficult to comprehend. Existence, I'm finding it difficult to comprehend. Then I can clarify what they are. From your point of view, yes? No, from a point of view where that you will be happy. No, I don't need that point of view. I now, how can I discuss if you're not happy with something? We have to have I a common ground. Know. I want to, I came here to learn about Islam. But we're I will tell Islam. you once yeah. this foundational framework right, is established. I'm going to assume you're right. Let's it's not about assumption. Yeah, no, it is. No, no. It's not about yeah, assumption. Okay. Because this foundational so if principle... I, if, I'm a, if I'm a human being, right, and I have a question about Islam, is this how you approach people? No, no. because we started by laying down the foundation. Mm. You, you said, I remember correctly, this universe may not have been created, could have been always there. And no, what no, about that's you? what you said. I agreed with it to a certain extent, but that's what you said. You didn't say exist. You said that. it's possible. No. Yes. It was not created. You, you came up with the idea, and I said yes, there's a possibility. I did not. You were not that. forced to answer. It's been recorded. You were not yeah. forced to answer. Yeah. You agreed. No, I said it's possible. Right. Yeah. If it's possible that yeah. it was not created, yeah. or it was always there, not always there, and then I asked you, is it possible that there was non-existence before? You said yes. That is where, now we need to foundationally answer that, because once you say that it is possible there was non-existence at one point, 
then it's, unless we clarify yeah. that point, yeah. none of what I say okay. will be helpful and fruitful. Okay, so when, when the Prophet Muhammad was preaching Islam... No, no, we are talking about different... No, this is what I'm trying to ask you, but you just went on to a completely different subject. If uh, I tell you now, Islam yeah. is true because the Quran says so, would you accept it? Why would you say Quran is true though? Because the Quran says so, would you accept it? But it's a book. So now, yeah. remember, now you're going to critically ask, what is it that the Quran has that makes it from God? You don't even know what God is. So how am I going to even prove to you? I don't think anyone knows what God is. That's why we need yeah. to know what God is. Then, but how first do you know the Quran is a true God? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. It is not really going to be helpful demonstrating yeah. to you the Quran is from our God yeah. when you don't even know that God exists or not. That's beyond the point. That's not the point. point. That's absolutely relevant to the point. You, you are you are thinking Quran is the ultimate word, but where is the evidence other than the ex look, look. existence? Yeah? If we were to tell you with proof and evidence, yeah. The Quran is from God, you will say, but God doesn't exist. It could no, be a figment of your imagination. A very simple question. Okay. Where's the evidence? Do you, do, you, do you understand my point? Yes. Firstly, we need to establish whether God exists or not. We do not do it. Hmm? We quite really do. No, we need to establish yeah. that yeah. by critical thinking. Say, assume it does exist, but then would it. Would it would Wait. It then, yeah. Why do you keep assuming things for the sake of argument? Because that's, you're not really that's engaging. Right. That's you're, not, you're not really engaging in a critical discussion. Yeah. Yeah. You're simply engaging with the flow. By, and later on, you'll say, oh, but that was only an assumption, I don't believe in it. Yeah. It will be a waste of time. We need to go by baby steps, by foundational principles, yeah. that we agree, 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 disagree, disagree, agree, agree, eventually, and then we come to an agreement. Okay, I admire you for your holding your faith as you are. It's a rational spirit. faith. Well, there's different views. Um, but no, I'm establishing mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the very beginning. I'm asking you critical questions. I'm challenging you on, on your particular premises of your Sorry, reality. You yeah, you sure? Yeah, yeah, because I did say that. Back, back, yeah. What's the question? Can existence arise from non-existence? No one. It's a... All back, back. Yeah, remember data, data protection, right? Yes. No, I mean... Yeah, so yeah. this is why I am not really willing to go and say, oh, the Quran is the word of God because of this scientific miracles, right. people say, or because of this literary uh, miracle, or because of this prophecies, or because of this information that is unknown. All of this will be irrelevant because you will say, but there is no God, perhaps. So how can that be from God? Well, that's so, where the religion is supposed to assert itself. So that's why we need to establish whether God exists or not, and what is God to begin with. And what is religion to begin with? Yeah. Do we need religion to to okay. live a good? Happy that's why I ask you. Yeah. Religion, religion, religion is, is simply the dictates of God, how to conduct your life, what you hear, the reasons. But what makes you think that's a dictation from God? Okay. If God tells you. But how do you know that? God okay. doesn't talk to anyone, do they? How do you know he doesn't? Well, we have we have we have people we have people who God spoke to and they said which God people, spoke to us. Which, so Prophets and messengers. Yeah, they, they died two thousand years ago. But they left their evidence you. behind. What evidence? It's right. not real evidence. What constitutes evidence to you? Well, it's a book story. It's a story. Okay. Wait. Yeah. What constitutes evidence to you? Solid. That's proved. Like what? Yeah. Well, it's not evidence just because the book exists. Right? Correct. Yeah. So what constitutes evidence? Well, if somehow magically God appears in the sky or something. How do you know it was God? Yeah, yeah. Now how yeah. would you know it was God and yeah. not, not, not a mass delusion? Well, what is your point? No, you ask for evidence. Mm. I want to see whether you're ready for evidence. So what constitutes evidence? Well, just, no, no, that's, that's a really kind of a... I can't give you evidence when you're not ready for it. Well, that's not evidence, is it? No, no, you are asking for evidence. Yeah. Before no. I give you evidence, I need to know whether you are Have you capable read Harry Potter? May have, yeah. Yeah. Now, some people believe that's religion, mm -hmm. right? Or Scientology. Okay. People will be convicted, convinced, like yourself, that it is true word, it's true, true and it's, uh, it's actually the real purpose, the real mission. Okay. That's your purpose of life. Now, you would say a certain religion is lost in its way. Other religions are lost in their ways. It's slightly right, it's slightly wrong. But you would say your religion is perfect, but everything is almost the same. So from somebody else's point of view... That's not... No, let me finish, please. So if I was a Hindu, I'll, from my point of view, I am right, because that's what I believe in, that's what I've been conditioned to believe in. That's my behavior, that's my childhood, that's my parents, that's my community. So when you come to me as a Muslim and tell me I'm wrong as a Hindu, 
I would find that as an offensive thing. Same as your point of view. You're a Muslim, you're born in a Muslim family, you're raised as a Muslim, I'm assuming. Um, and that your background is pretty much Islamic, your community is Islamic, so you are convinced that your religion is the, the mighty one. So we can sit here or stand here all day debating it, but nothing's going to be solved. And no one's gonna end up having You miss one crucial point though. What's the crucial point? In the crucial point of critical discussion, the yeah. evidence. That's why I'm asking you, what constitutes What's evidence? What's the evidence of Prophet Muhammad being a Prophet Muhammad? Yeah. Very good question. Yeah. Very good question. No, I'm only gonna do No no No, let me let me finish. finish. I'm only gonna have a chat with you if these cameras are off. Camera and if your recording is off because I, I don't ah. want uh Let's yeah, stop yeah, the cameras. Yeah. And your recording equipment's off. Yeah. Turn the cameras around so he knows.